listening in. This is Tommy. It's September 10th, 2004. Yeah, let's get going. We're almost, Tommy. And tonight, we're going to do what, everybody? Get going. That's right. Now, Zinga? No, Tommy. Let's get going. <laughs> but it wouldn't be some weird encounter if it wasn't for, for more familiar faces. One of them being Billy Kane, Geese Howard's right hand man. Yep. Who surprisingly decided to help out Andy when Howard showed up. <laughs> yeah, funny enough, Billy was going to fight uh, Andy there, but he noticed something in the glass reflection, so he broke it, and uh, Howard popped out. Yeah. Funny enough, he even, funny enough, he even flirted with my bit. How many times do I have to tell you I have a boyfriend? Well, you look like the kind of girl that could use two. And my cup, the mom saying why I hide the mask and stuff. And then she did call, when he removed the mask, she did call him a man, but Andy's more of her type, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, she just got, he just got burned. Rejected. Yep. <laughs> Anywho, back to what I was saying. Um, but soon enough, it didn't really end up into a big old fight brawl, but it just uh, ended with him disappearing to su to, because he was mostly spying. But before we go back to the crew, Billy Kane basically came to report to Geese Howard, who was training. And as you can see, he... And the word, again, has us thinking, everyone at your age would die. Why won't you? <laughs> How'd you know what I was thinking? Because I know you long enough, you goddamn putz. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Basically, Geese is getting tra was doing training, and from doing his move, he's gotten a lot stronger than last time. Which means that he's gonna eventually have to come back. Mm-hmm. Also, going before we forget, um, there is a little bit of backstory behind Sulia's past, specifically around her and Laucorn. Apparently, yeah, the basically, reason Laucorn became so obsessed with getting the armor of Godimus was literally because of how, back when they were kids, um, a so-called trusted friend of their father decided to murder their dad in cold blood and almost kill Laucorn. Mm-hmm. So basically, yeah, that's basically what happened, and basically they can seek vengeance, and I think the, that armor is just mostly corrupting them. It mostly was the armor at that point, because ever since once he, used, he killed the murderer with the gauntlet, the armor basically messed up Wildcorn's head, and because of that, now he has this uncontrollable urge to finish the armor and put it back together. This is what happens when you get too much power, people. This is why you don't want to become a god or you turn into that. Or turn into a freaking Rose or Zamasu. You end up worse. Soon enough, Terry was able to wake up. And soon enough, they... As soon as Terry arrived... Uh, as Terry and Sulia arrived to the Wolfgang Krause's castle, also Joe being there, the breastplate was gone. <laughs> Breast. Hey, <Anywho. laughs> But, um, how things were going uh, is they were having trouble finding the last piece, but there was still that one temple place to go, but as soon as Andy was getting the temple thing, because and you wonder why Mai wasn't... She was there! Mai was there! Just women weren't allowed in the temple. I mean... For some weird reason, I can't remember that. If it was I'm... Movie I'm or not. I don't know, but if anything, I wouldn't allow my near the temple. Have you seen the way she was dressed when she was there? Her fucking nipples were poking through that outfit. God damn. You're not wrong. <laughs> That's kind of disrespectful if you ask me. Oh, yeah. But things didn't go so fine and dandy. Basically, what happened was, well, who else but, uh, what's his face again? Howard. Yeah, Howard. He beat Howard the shit out of both Andy and Mai, basically, and took the armor piece. Um, yeah, sure. and what made really what made Andy really mad was it looked like he kissed her. And spoiler, Andy, Andy tried. He almost succeeded, but how how are still beat the shit out of him? Yeah, though though if you wonder, did did uh, he really kiss my? I'll just let my tell you. I just pretended to like him. 
let him kiss me. You don't think I'd actually let some stranger kiss these sweet red lips of mine? A modern ninja girl's got more control than that. Okay, so why didn't you tell Andy that? Oh, no, no, no. It's his turn to suffer for a while. Just to get Andy's attention and or to pay back Andy for not giving her much attention. Woman, the woman, the life was on your danger and you wanted to play pretend? Go pretend, Keo. Go pretend. I said pretend, not for 10. 10 out of 10, probably. <laughs> no. Soon enough, everyone was in a bit of a pickle where the last armor piece could be. But soon enough, they basically gathered around to the twos once more and Terry pointing out to the amulet on frickin' um, Sulia's necklace. Basically, uh, while they were basically the trying to figure out where the last piece was hidden, what happened Joe, was... And this Joe is the funny thing. Out by poison or something. Well, wait, 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 wait. Not that far yet. They knew the location for it, but here's what happened. Basically, when they were in the two thing, Joe basically punched the wall and it opened up a little secret panel where it would fit Sulia's necklace to show the location for that missed last piece. A little convenient plot moment. Pretty much. But soon enough, they but because of that whole second link between brother and sister, Laocorn knew too, but he couldn't get the last piece unless his sister was there because she had a piece on her. Apparently. Anyway, but they were all at a hotel. Basically, Andy was training because he was miffed. Very pissed off at what happened. I why. And to think he didn't care. But um, he's basically... Punching those trees a bit with some what looks to be like weighted gloves. Punching them up. And Maya and uh, Julia, uh, Uli, Zulia, sorry, were basically talking at the pool while Andy and uh, Terry and Joe were having some drinks and food. And basically, Zulia and uh, Maya were talking about all the love thing. And she basically noticed how Terry does like Zulia. Again, even though they only met for one day. Well, apparently it must have been more than just a single day. Yeah, remember, they were traveling to multiple countries. So, yeah, there must have been a lot of shit going on off screen. Mm -mm -mm. Don't give Crossy motivation now. <laughs> I'm just pushing out the to... logic here. Eh, I don't think there's any logic to go from it, though. Not where Terry's involved, but... no. <laughs> Not, not with his movie series, no. But, um... But anyway... Back to what we were... As I was saying. Basically, things were going fine. Though, Terry and Joe passed out because... Uh, Howard basically took the air from them somehow and made them pass out with a lack of fresh air to oxygen to breathe. Well... And wait, soon you said, I, wait, you said it was Howard who knocked them out? Yes. Well, to be fair, he has the power over wind and basically the air current, so that's probably yeah. a child's play for him. Yeah, so they passed out, and after a nice ass shot of her slapping her, of my slapping her butt a bit, she was about to go up there and stuff, but um, <laughs> soon enough, uh, Howard, uh, and Panny showed Jeremy, up. Yep, and Jen, Panny showed up, basically wanting to have Sulia to get to her, to her brother, Laocorn. <laughs> And yeah. soon enough, basically she threatened if they touched him, she would kill herself, so they let him go. Until she left, that is, because she was going to end up hurting my. Basically, Lop, Howard, and uh, Fanny were left behind. But soon enough, who comes in to save the day? Andy. Mm hmm While Jamin successfully grabbed Sulia, Howard and Fanny were so fortunate. Andy beat the utter shit out of Howard as payback for, you know, the ass-kicking he got earlier. And Panny and got, he got, he got the taste slapped out of her mouth by, by Mai. Basic, yeah, she basically got burned alive from the looks of what Mai did. Yeah, but I'm blaming soon enough, to the chest to do that to you. <laughs> yeah. But soon enough, followed by uh, a nice sweet kiss moment between Andy and Mai. Everything seems to be everything she wanted. I thought you'd say you weren't trying to motivate Crossy's shipping habit. Well, they actually kiss. That's the thing. Fair enough. I'm talking about actual kiss moments, not actual fucking moments. Hey! Shut up, you. You don't matter. Anyway. 
I, I, I'm mad more than you, you little bitch. <laughs> no, no, you're mad more like a boost. That's how it goes. Get your facts okay. straight. Okay.